This is a really cute monkey. I've got a brown 160 with about a three inch tail on the end of it. A brown 260 with about four inches on the end of it. A brown 360 with about five or six inches on the end of it. Then I've got a, a lighter brown. You can use blush, mocha, toffee, whatever color you like. Five inch round. It's blown up to about three, three and a half inches. And then I've also got a white five inch round blown up to about an inch and a half. We're going to start with our 360. I'll squeeze it to make sure it's kind of soft. Twist off about a two or three inch bubble on the end of it. And then make a round bubble. Make that into a little twist. And you're going to make about, and this one really needs to be soft. There we go. About a two inch bubble. And then another round bubble. And make that a pinch twist as well. You've made basically what's kind of like a little bear head there, but what we're going to do is we're going to twist all three of these bubbles together. So you want to take the point where this ear meets and the point where this ear and just bring them together. So I'm going to pull the middle up and just spin the whole thing around a couple of times to lock it in place. And you get a really cute monkey face like that, but I like to make it a little cuter. So I'm going to take and pop this off. Just cut the knot off and then I'm going to take that and wrap it around his ears to secure it in place. Then I'm going to take my five inch round, the brown one, and I'm going to twist that in at the base of his head there. Make sure that's on there really good. That's going to be his muzzle. Then I'm going to take my five inch round white, push the knot up into the middle, divide that into two equal bubbles, bring that around from the back of his head, one on either side. These will be his eyes. And then they'll lock him and then I'll take that muzzle and twist it around those eyes a couple times just to make sure it's really locked into place tight. That's going to be his face in a minute. Now we're going to make about an inch and a half bubble for his neck. We'll make a little small round bubble for a pinch twist. Then about a four inch bubble for his body. Then I'm going to make two and I'm going to make these small. Two little small pinch twists here. Just like that. And then the rest of this we can pop off. We don't need it anymore. Just secure that end up in there nicely. That's our monkey's body and head. Now we need to make his arms and legs and tail. I'm going to start with a 160 so I can make this. This will make his arms and tail. I'm going to make a little small, about a three quarter inch bubble. And then two little tiny bubbles that will each become a pinch twist, just like that. So you get two little pinch twists there. And his fingers, I'm going to make another little bubble about the same size as that first one. So about three quarters of an inch. Make two of those. And then lock those into the pinch twist, just like that. And there's his first hand. And you're going to make about a seven or eight inch bubble. Another bubble the same size. And then two more of those little pinch twists, just like that. And then finish his hand by making two of the little three quarter inch bubbles. Lock that in. One more for his thumb. And then we're gonna pop this excess off and keep that inflated. That's going to become his tail. So tie that. And then Tie that bubble on the end of his thumb there. Just like that. Just trim that. And we're going to take the long bubble in the middle, divide it into two equal bubbles for his two arms. And then the bubble at the top, which is his shoulder here, we're just going to twist that in there. Bring it around and cross them over a time or two. Now he's got arms. Let's add his tail before I add his back legs. Take the knot or the, the knot on the end of that and twist it into the two pinch twists on his back side. That gives him his tail. And I give him his tail shape. I'll curl it up almost all the way and then curl it back the other way. Gives it sort of a question mark shape. Makes it a really cute tail. Now we just need to make his back legs, and they're going to be just like his hands, only a little bigger because they're with the 260, so make 
about a one inch bubble. A pinch twist. I mean, they're going to have just one pinch twist instead of the two. And then make two more bubbles the same size as that first one. Lock them in together. And that's basically one foot. And you're going to make about an eight inch bubble. Another one. And then repeat the other foot by making a pinch twist. The two bubbles for his toes. And then the last one that sticks out for his, I guess you'd call it a thumb on their foot, I don't know. Tie that off, clean it up. And there's his two legs, divide that back into two equal bubbles. And then those are going to go on the pinch twist at the bottom. Oops, his tail just fell off, poor monkey. Put his tail back on. His feet where his little feet thumbs are pointing in. His legs little shaping there. And there you get a really cute little monkey.